Hello everyone, welcome to Jiggy Mats. My name is Sir Jiggs and for today we are going to talk about Pascal's Triangle. So this is the first video in the new chapter called Series. So what is Pascal's Triangle? So this is named after a French mathematician, Blaise Pascal, and the triangle starts from 1, then followed by 1-1 one, one at both ends. And then the next row will give you 1, 2, 1. Then the 2 is actually obtained from adding 1 and 1. So the next row will give you also 1 at both ends. And then the 3, as you notice, is the sum of 1 and 2. And the other 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. So that's how you obtain the numbers in the succeeding rows. So the next one will definitely will give you 1 at both ends and then 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, then the next will be the sum of 3 and 1 that is 4 and of course 1 at the other end. So looking at this pattern so definitely you will give the numbers for the next row. Okay so let's try. Okay, so one again at the end, at the at, as a starting point. Then one plus four is five. Four plus six is ten. Six plus four is ten. Four plus one is five, and one at the other end. All right, and again the next row will be one. One plus five is six. Five plus ten is fifteen. Ten plus ten is twenty. Then 10 plus 5 is 15, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then 1 at the end. So this, as you, as you notice, it forms a triangular uh, figure consisting of numbers. And it can continue forever. All right. Now, what is Pascal's Triangle for? Okay, so the Pascal's Triangle can help us in doing binomial expansion in the form of A plus B to the power of n. So you see binomial, it's because the expression consists of two terms. We have a as the first term and b as the second term. So from the prefix by, which means two, so we have two terms. Okay, so this is what we call binomial. And n, which is the index or the exponent, must be a positive integer. So a common example is a plus b to the power of 2. Okay, so that is we are expanding that binomial to the power of 2. Okay, let's try to expand the following. Let's start with a plus b to the power of 0. We know from the law of indices that any number that is raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay, good. Now what about this one? a plus b to the power of 1. So we know that if a number is raised to the power of 1, it's equal to the number itself. So this is just equal to a plus b. And then we have this special product, a plus b to the power of 2, which we know equals uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay, so just in case you forgot how to do this, a plus b to the power of 2 from the definition of uh, exponent 2 it means a plus b multiplied to a plus b all right so you expand that you use distributive property and then you will get this this product a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and then a plus b to the power of 3 is equal to a plus b multiplied to a plus b squared but we know that a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So what you can do is you distribute a to uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and then after that you distribute b to the other factor and you will get one you will get a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Alright so this this lesson is actually not focus on how you're going to distribute the terms from one factor to the other so um, 
I'll let you do it uh, on, on paper so that you can check if our products are actually correct. So now notice the numbers or the coefficients in red. So 1 for the first one, a plus b to the power of 0. Okay, so notice all of those are actually the same as the numbers in our Pascal's triangle. So this is what the Pascal's triangle is for. Um, the numbers here are, are, are actually corresponding to the coefficients in the binomial expansion. So the first one, which is the top of the triangle, is actually for a plus b to the power of 0. Okay, so uh, let's summarize that in this manner. Okay, but before we go to that, okay, let me, okay, for the sake of the others, uh, how do we expand a plus b to the power of 4? So that is equal to a plus b cubed multiplied to a plus b, or you may prefer a plus b squared to times a plus b squared, okay, because that's, that you can also get the product by doing that. So a plus b cubed multiplied to a plus b, because we already have this product from the previous, uh, from the previous slide. So a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed, that is a plus b cubed. And then you multiply that to a plus b. So I would like to do it this way so that uh, um, it, it's easier to look at. So a cubed, so all of these terms will be, will be multiplied to a. Okay, so let's do that. a cubed multiplied to a is a to the power of 4. And then Next is 3a squared b multiplied to a will give you 3a cubed b. And, all right, that's positive. And then next is 3ab squared multiplied to a is plus 3a squared b squared. And then b cubed times a is ab cubed. And in the same manner, you'll do that for b. We're in all of this... Uh, terms will also be multiplied to b. So that is what we meant by distributive property, correct? Now, if you do that, okay, so the first term a cubed times b will be a cubed b. Now, I aligned it here so that the, the uh, finding the sum earlier will be, will be a bit easier. Then followed by 3a squared b multiplied to b, that is going to be 3a squared b squared, so that is very similar to the first one on top. And then 3a b squared multiplied to b is, we're going to have 3a b cubed. And then b cubed times b is b to the power of 4. Okay, so I align the terms that are similar. Okay. Um, all right, now let's get the sum and then we will get a to the power of 4 plus 4a cubed b. Add this 2, we'll give you 6a squared b squared. a b cubed plus 3a b cubed is 4a b cubed and then bring down b to the power of 4. And then you look at the coefficients, the numbers, the coefficients of each term are um, the same. Or you can find that in the Pascal's triangle. All right, so what have we found out? Um, okay, so a plus b to the power of 0 corresponds to that uh, uppermost coefficient in the Pascal's triangle, and that is 1. a plus b to the power of 1, 1, 1. a plus b to the power of 2, co uh, the coefficients will be 1, 2, 1. And then a plus b cubed, the coefficients in the expansion will give you 1, 3, 3, 1. And of course, the coefficients for a plus b in the expansion of a plus b to the power of 4 are 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And the next row of coefficients in this Pascal's triangle definitely will give you the coefficients in the expansion of a plus b to the power of 5. All right, so we will have 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So those are the coefficients. Okay, now what else have we found out? So if you look at, if the index is 1, it gives you 2 coefficients. If the, coef, uh, if the index is 2, it gives you 3 coefficients. Alright, so uh, we, we can come up now with this pattern we're in. If the index is 0, there's 1 coefficient. If the index is 1, there are 2 coefficients. And it follows that if the index is 5, it will give us 6 coefficients. So that's a very important um, um, information that we can use when we expand 
binomial later on. Alright, now let's connect this to, uh, to the lessons that we had before. Okay, let's start with a plus b cubed. So the expansion of this will give us the coefficients of the terms 1, 3, 3, 1. In the same manner, if, the, if we have a plus b to the power of 5, it gives us this following coefficients. Now, uh, notice that 1, okay, looking at this, is a combination of 3 taken 0. And then 3 is a combination of 3 taken 1. Similarly, uh, 3 is a combination of 3 taken 2. So you can use your scientific calculator to check this. And then 1 is combination of 3 taken 3. So uh, where does that 3 come from? So if you notice, this 3 is actually the index, right? And then uh, we start from 0 since we have 4 coefficients. So starting from 0 down to the value of 3, which is the index, it will give us 4 coefficients. Right. If the index now is 4, so the first coefficient here will be combination of 4 taken 0. And then 4, the, the next coefficient 4 is combination of 4 taken 1. 6 is combination of 4 taken 2. Then 4 is combination of 4 taken 3. And then 1 here is combination of 4 taken 4. So likewise, if the index is 4, it will give us all of these 6 coefficients starting from the combination of 5 taken 0 up to combination of 5 taken 5. So this is connected to the combination that we had in, in the past video. So uh, let's summarize it in this manner. So in the expansion of a plus b to the power of n, so the first one is that we have to remember if n is 6, therefore we will get 7 coefficients or seven terms in the expansion. So generally, it's going to be n plus one number of coefficients or n plus one number of terms. The second one is, of course, the coefficients. Um, the focus of this lesson is about Pascal's triangle. So the Pascal's triangle will help us to get the coefficients. All right, so you can draw the Pascal's triangle and then each row corresponds to the coefficients in the expansion. Or you can use definitely the combination. So this is uh, this will help us facilitate uh, finding the coefficients, and that is using the combination of n taken r, where n is the index, and then r will be from zero to r equals n. All right. So I would like to stop here. The next uh, lesson video uh, will be tackling about how to find the term and how to find the coefficients in a particular binomial expansion. Okay, so once again, uh, thank you very much. Hopefully that you learned something from today's lesson video. Okay, so thank you very much to Slides Carnival for, again, for a very nice PowerPoint template. Hope that you like my templates, all right? Um, if you do have questions, please email me at jdtoday2014 at gmail.com.